So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, we get to the next segment of the night where we see MJF. He makes his way out there to the ring and he has a few things to say. And he was talking about how he lost the AEW International Championship to Will Ospreay at All In. And then he starts talking about how he defended his title for the Americans and all that stuff. And they never appreciated him. And then he says that this is the worst damn country. And then he pretty much denounced his uh, U.S. citizenship. So, yeah, that's what he says. He says that he's going to be staying in uh, in Long Island, New York. So, yeah, that's what uh, MJ was talking about there. But then he was talking about how eventually he'll get his AEW International Championship back uh, from Will Ospreay. So, you better look out for that. And then he starts talking about his uh, Dynamite Diamond Ring because he can't find the damn thing. And went missing. So yeah, that's what he was talking about there. And then he starts talking about Daniel Garcia for costing him the AEW International Championship at all out at all in. And then he pretty much says that he better watch his back be before he gets him. So yeah, that's what uh, MJF says. But then all of a sudden, Daniel Garcia comes in there attacking MJF, starts beating him down and everything. And you know he's uh, chokes him out with a guillotine onto him and then he picks him up to try to hit him with a power driver but then he puts MJF down and then he decides that he looks at the corner and then he goes to the corner puts MJF up there on the top turnbuckle and it looks like he's about to power drive for him off the top turnbuckle but then all of a sudden a bunch of security guards comes running in Daniel Garcia starts beating down the security guards because it saved MJF MJF sees Daniel Garcia doing all that stuff, so he got sees him with his back turn. So MJF comes up attacking Daniel Garcia with his back turn. He starts beating down Garcia, but then Garcia starts coming back, beating him down. He gets MJF back up there on the top turnbuckle. He's trying to power drive him off the second turnbuckle, but then we see Christopher Daniels and a bunch of security guards pulling Daniel Garcia off of MJF. But MJF quickly escapes. So yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that happened, uh, Daniel Garcia grabs the mic while he's on the second turnbuckle. He's staring at MJF where MJF is on the ramp. And he pretty much challenges MJF to a match at All Out. So yeah, that's what he says there. And he says that pretty much whoever loves MJF is going to be going out with them where they see him going out on the stretch after he gets power driver. So yeah, that's what Daniel Garcia says. And then he throws the damn mic in. Pretty much, I think it hits MJF right in the face. And the MJF gets pissed off, and then uh, he tries to get into the ring, but the security is holding him back, and security guards is holding Daniel Garcia back, and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good segment. I liked it. It was a really good one. Can't wait for their match uh, all out. But yeah, uh, MJF did accept it, so that match is officially happening. But up next will be the eight men's acting match. It'll be uh, Hook, Orange Cassidy, Martin Briscoe, and Kyle O'Reilly versus. Chris Jericho, Big Bill, and Brian Keith, The Learning Tree, and Roger Strong up next in an eight-man tag team match. So, yeah, that matches up next. See you guys later. Till then.